Welcome back. Well, if you didn't get to the theater this weekend, Matt Perrin has you covered. He shares his take on yesterday in your Monday Movie Musings. Welcome to another Monday. Toy Story once again held on to the top spot at the box office, beating out a couple of new releases by a good margin. The newest Annabelle offering, adding another notch in the Conjuring Universe belt, came in second. I'm not the biggest fan of said universe, so my review is on the film that came in third. Today's film begs the question, what would you do if you had knowledge of the past that no one else had? for some reason. Well, in Danny Boyle's newest offering, we get to see just that as a struggling musician finds himself in just such a situation. Without any further ado, here's my take on yesterday. Our film begins with Jack Malik. He is a struggling singer-songwriter managed by his best friend Ellie. Fed up with having no success after years and years of trying, he decides to throw in the towel. While riding home from his final gig, a worldwide blackout takes place, which results in him being hit by a bus. After recovering in the hospital, Jack is at a welcome back party with his friends where he is gifted a new guitar. To break in his new guitar, he plays his favorite song, Yesterday, and all of his friends are blown away at the new song he wrote. He thinks that everyone is playing a joke on him by pretending not to know who the Beatles are, but upon an internet search, he discovers that the group never existed. Weighing his options, Jack quickly makes a decision to take advantage of this fact and sets about trying to remember every Beatles song ever written. He still manages to fall short even with these songs at his disposal though until he is seen by Ed Sheeran. Before long he's on tour with Ed and the world is taking notice. He is approached by a record producer and sets about starting a career on the classics known only to him. As the movie progresses so does his career but as his popularity grows so does his guilt. Not only does he hate the fact that he's taking credit for all these songs but he starts to feel that he really missed out on something with Ellie. It's one of those classic, be careful what you wish for scenarios. He has everything he always thought he wanted, but does he really? He receives advice from those he thought would hate him and realizes that all of these decisions walk a fine line. We as the audience wait to see exactly how this is going to play out, all the while really getting into the humor of the film. It takes unexpected turns, but the music always keeps you smiling. So, what to say about this one? I was excited to see it because I'm a big fan of Danny Boyle's films, but at the same time it's a little weird because I'm one of those rare people who aren't a big fan of the Beatles. That being said, this is just an all-around fun film to watch. You can't say enough about the cast. Himesh Patel does an amazing job portraying all the emotions that one would go through in this situation. I think Lily James just always has to be in a movie centering around music, and she's great at fading into the background. Ed Sheeran is fantastic at being so dry, and of course Kate McKinnon can steal any scene she's in, always. Also a huge shout out to Robert Carlyle and his uncredited role. What also makes this movie really fun is the small little details that keep popping up of what's also missing in this alternate universe. It definitely gets a laugh every time. This is a feel-good movie through and through and is even really enjoyable if you're not the biggest fan of the Beatles. You'll probably still end up being a fan of the fictional Jack Malick. This has been your Monday Movie Musing. Back to you. All right, thank you, Matt. Hey, stick with us. Tyler has one last look at your forecast when the news at noon continues.